All of our thoughts, emotions, sensations and other experiences, they're exactly like a line drawn in water. They leave no trace. What hurts is the belief that they have an independent nature. That's what really hurts. If you look at your own experience right now, you see it exactly like that. Everything is like a line drawn in water. Like a line drawn in water. Allowing everything to be as it is, we see it directly. You know, whatever you're experiencing right now, allowing it to be as it is, complete openness and stability. And you're stable. You can see that you're stable. There is nothing to fear. Like all of us, we have all kinds of emotions right now. We have all kinds of thoughts. But, you know, it could be totally crazy if we just act on these emotions and thoughts. We call it here data, just to make it simple. So data, it's all of our thoughts, emotions, sensations, other experiences, people, places, things, negative emotions, pain, physical pain. Whatever it is, you call it data to keep it simple for your own experience. As human beings, we're so simple. We worked so hard to live our life, to be human beings. We worked so hard. I remember myself just remember because it was so far away for me, so primitive to replace, to indulge, to avoid my data streams, to avoid my thoughts and emotions, to replace my thoughts and emotions, to indulge, to go to all kinds of stories. Now it's not anymore like that. We have a choice. We have a choice as human beings and you can tap into it right now. See it for yourself. Stop, th stop thinking for a moment, for a short moment, for a short moment, just right now. What remains? A short moment of open intelligence. What remains there? As you are. You're just completely as you are. This is reality. This is the meeting with reality. Reality as it is. Reality as it is. And allowing it to be as it is. Now, it doesn't mean that we, we're just passive, doing whatever we like to do, acting on our thoughts and emotions. It's totally the opposite. We're able to discern. We're able to discern how to be of benefit, and it's natural to us. It's very natural for us to be of benefit. This is our deepest wish. Our deepest wish is to be of benefit to one another and to ourselves. If you look at all of your life up to now, that was your wish, just to be of benefit. Also, the horrible things that you've done, the benefit was there. Open intelligence was present, available for you. So it's a misunderstanding of the nature of our own mind. But once we know it, we cannot ignore it. Once we know it, it's your choice. It's really up to each one of us. It's a call for peace. It's a call for peace. Open intelligence is a call for peace. That's what unites us all. As human beings, we have the same mind. And it's open, vast. It's of benefit. It's of pure benefit. It's of pure benefit. And, and, and that's what I see in my own life. Coming to this training, utilizing the support that really speaks to me so much. With everything, short moments of open intelligence, available for all of you right now. Also, when you leave, you can remember. <clears throat> Short moments. When you have a disturbing emotion, remember open intelligence. Take short moment. Relax right there. And see how potent you are. See how potent you are. You know, it's like the energy of being so angry, but you're just not going there. You're not acting on that. You allow it to be as it is. You take full responsibility for your thoughts and emotions. And there is immediate peace, immediate benefit. So that's what I did in my own life. You know, applying that, hearing about short moments and testing it in my own experience. It was important for me to really see it for myself. I didn't want to listen to anyone anymore. You know, completely fed up with all of the techniques that I cultivated. I wanted a complete relief. 
complete mental and emotional stability. When I came to this training, I saw it in the trainers, I saw it in the community. I want it for myself too, and I knew it's possible for me. <coughs> Why? Because everyone is human beings. So what's possible for us, possible for everyone. So short moments are very powerful. You know, test it. If you're here for the first time, apply it in your everyday life. Apply it just today even. See for yourself if it's true or not. See if you're a victim of your thoughts and emotions or not. See if you're stable or not. Whatever it is. You're angry, you're pissed off of someone. You're hungry, you're sad, you're happy. Allow it to be as it is. Nothing special about it. Allow it to be as it is. This is, this is what will make it so special. That's what will allow it to be of benefit to all. That's really the allowance to be of benefit to all. <clears throat> every, every datum that we're having, it's an opportunity for us to be of benefit to all. Even if all sounds so big, it's just like that. One short moment, immediate benefit to yourself and others. The support of the four mainstays community of people that rely on open intelligence, my trainer, short moments, I always remember, especially when I'm so afflicted, short moments are there, open intelligence is there, I'm completely stable, I'm checking it right now, there is a complete stability, and then take it one moment at a time, gaining confidence in the power of open intelligence, in yourself, it's not out of yourself, you know, it's, it's within you within every human being. So regardless of all circumstances in our life, we, we gain confidence. You know, if things are unclear for us now, they will get so clear for you. That's what I saw for myself, with the support. We, we need support for this kind of education because for so many years we train ourselves in believing that data has an independent nature. So once we're here, they don't have that's really exciting. Then we feel exalted. Then we feel exalted. Not anymore disempowering ourselves with our thoughts and emotions. <coughs> Empowering ourselves. Nothing is never a problem. That's what we see. Once we test it, nothing is a problem. There is no drama whatsoever. We know what to do. There are solutions. And we can skillfully just use all the solutions to be of benefit. We see everything. We're not collapsing into our thoughts and emotions anymore. It's not of interest to us. The solution is, okay, the focus, what would be of most benefit, that's all. So that's what I applied in my own life. This is the priority I made. I invite you to do it as well. It's an open invitation for human beings to really, you know, to see the nature of your own mind. Remaining natural as well, where you feel sick, you, you can't take it anymore, you feel exhausted. You don't need to push yourself to be powerful. That's fine, you can take it easy. You can be gentle, take a break, take a rest. It's a very natural way of being, nothing to cultivate. But see as well that you can do everything, that everything is possible for you. Also, when you feel so limited, then where you really find out that you have no limitations at all. Our mind is inexhaustible. Heart as well, inexhaustible. Open and pervasive. Inexhaustible. That's why we feel so much. That's why we feel, we think so much about things. Because it's inexhaustible, but there is nothing wrong about that. Where everything is allowed to be, this is where we find the power. The only power we have is to be of benefit. If we misuse our power, then we're harming ourselves and others. So this is the time. Now we can speak for ages. But this is the time. Right now, all of us as human beings, that's what we invite everyone in the balanced view and all over the world. Not only here in Goa, we have so many communities and everyone already live a life of the Four Mainstays lifestyle. The Four Mainstays is the support structure we have 
available for each one of everyone deserve that.